Welcome back to another video. Today we have another Civic. This time we're looking at a 2023 Honda Civic Sport sedan in sonic gray pearl with black interior. A very popular color, um, high demand. I know this is like the new it color for 2023. Um, Honda has been replacing this color with urban gray on other models. Not sure for the next Civic if it's gonna be the same thing, but we're just gonna have to wait and see. So the Sport sits right above the LX, which is the base model. Then you got this guy, above this you have the EX, and then you have the Touring. So you have four trim levels in the Sedan Civic lineup. It could be a little bit confusing because the hatchbacks doesn't have an EX, but it has an EXL. I don't know if you guys saw that, but this dragon just flew right into me just now. But let's start off with the front fascia of the Sport Sedan. So full LED, high beam, low beam, turn signals, daytime running lights, standard on every Civic. No fog lights unless you get a Touring. So if you get a fully loaded model to get the fog lights, not even the SI gets fog lights. So some differences here for 2022 and 2023. Let's take a look at the Sonic Gray color in the sun because this is just a beautiful color. And there's a reason why this color is so popular. Now it's dirty and look how good it still looks. So this is like one of those colors where it looks good in the dirt, looks good when it's clean. Also, you have your, your front grill here. So it's a different design than a hatchback. I made a video on a hatchback, so click the link above to check that out. And this is the two liter four cylinder non-turbo, so you don't have any intercoolers at the bottom. If you go for an EX, then you get the turbo 1.5 or the Touring. The Sport or the LX will have a two liter non-turbo. So come around to the side, Sport does give you black out wheels and they're gloss black. Gloss black mirror caps. There's no chrome on the window, around the windows at all. Actually, you don't see any chrome besides the, the Honda emblems. Taking a look at the rear. So you can see the taillights are completely different than the hatchback. You don't have that bar that goes across like the hatchback. So some people love this look better. Some love the hatchback better to each his own. You do have LED brake lights and your normal running lights, but your turn signals and your reverse lights are a regular bolt. So combination of rear tail lights and the sport badge in back here you can see that's chrome it's not blacked out like the hrv and the crv and then the h is chrome and the civics chrome too there is a black package you can add on that will black out all the h's and everything as well the sport does give you a single exhaust that the sport hatchback actually doesn't give you and i don't think any of the civics get a uh, actual exhaust tip then the sport here so the sport does have some unique design to it the black wheels that i mentioned earlier are 18s as well if you go for the ex i believe those are 17s and the sport i mean the touring are also 18s but a different design and the lx i think it's 17s as well when we look at the trim walk we're going to jump in and confirm that and these bugs are all over the place you probably see them flying around in the video between the hatchback and the sedan i like the rear for both of them um, not really a big deal for me. You do have a uh, shark fin style antenna that's body colored. The door handles is body colored too. Dang, these bugs are all over the place. You see these little things? They're just flying all over the place. That's crazy. You also have a capitalist filler as well, which is standard on all the Civics. So technically you don't have a gas cap. Here is the new key that Honda, actually I think the Civic in 22 debuted this key at first. And now most of the Hondas have it now. You do have lock, unlock. You have remote start built in on the Sport. If you're an LX, you don't get that feature. But EX and, and Touring will also have that feature. I keep wanting to say Sport Touring. And you have, do have a button for your uh, trunk and your panic button. And not only you have remote start, you also have smart entry. With smart entry, you put your hand in these door handles right here. It'll unlock for you. And then if you want to lock all the doors back, you can tap these lines right here and it'll lock it back. Also, Sport does not come with blind spot. If you need blind spot, it's available on the EX and standard on the Touring. So you can get an EX Civic with blind spot or you can get an EX Civic without it because of the whole shortage thing. I, I've been explaining this in a few of my videos. Um, Honda's, you know, they're make they're, they're doing like 50-50. 50% have blind spot, the other 50% won't. So you can get one with or without, but Touring will have blind spot no matter what. So let's get inside this guy. First thing to notice in here is the seating. And Sonic Gray only comes with black interior. And with the Sport, you have a half leather and half cloth on the inside combination seating. So you can see you have the leather on the outside, cloth in the middle. And they are manual, manual on the driver, manual on the passenger. So you have your 
lever for your back, up and down, you gotta pump it, and you have a bar in front to move forward and back. Welcome to your Honda. It is a hot day today, so we're gonna turn this thing on. Some air going in here. So on the driver door, you have auto up down for the driver and passenger. You hold it for the rear, power locks, power mirrors, power windows as well. And not really much design on the sport here. I believe on the touring, this is softer or maybe the EX and up, this is softer, but it's not, it's soft, but it's not as soft as it could be. But the armrest is the cloth material and it is soft. And I like the door handles. You get this nice look like aluminum look to it this looks premium you have the air vent as well and this is that new design so this is an every civic every civic you, you get you're gonna have this design where the air vents hide behind this little mesh honeycomb mesh looking thing which is pretty cool so it goes across the whole dashboard you have a shortcut to your safety features there and then you have a button right below it to turn off your traction control you have your uh, dimmer switch for your interior lighting like for your cluster and the screen and everything. And just a vent here. You do have a tweeter speaker up there, speaker in the doors as well. And you do have a hood, you probably can't see, let me see a zoom in there for you, there you go. You have a hood uh, latch there. And to pop the trunk, you have the button right back there as well. Coming along to the dash here, every Civic besides the Touring will get the half digital, half analog cluster. The Touring will have a full digital cluster, which I love. I love the full digital, but the half digital and half analog is actually pretty nice because even if you get a base model, you get the same uh, type of design, which is cool. You have a leather wrapped steering wheel with white stitching on the inside, and you do have auto headlights, auto high beam um, on, and parking light, and you can turn them off if you wanted to. Wipers on the right side. You do have power shifters in the back. Even though this is not an automatic transmission, it's a CVT transmission, you can have like virtual gears and shift virtually if you wanted to for any spirited driving. Steering wheel do have some gloss black around it. Not too much, but I like this. It, it looks good with the gloss black. Not a big fan of gloss black, but when you use a little bit, it works. And then you have your controls here. So this screen right here is configurable from the scroll wheel here. So you hit home and then you can see you have a lot of different options there. We're gonna Kind of roll through them real fast. They have range and fuel, speed and time. Are you awake enough to drive? Who have the seatbelts on? Oil life, safety features. I'm gonna scroll to this one so you can see you have road departure mitigation. You can check it on and off, and your collision mitigation braking. You can check that on and off. But you have settings to change, like door lock settings. You can customize the display, so you can decide what's on this list and what's not on the list. You can have nothing where it's just a traditional uh, tachometer. But then from here, you can change your speedometer to uh, kilo kilometers from miles per hour if needed to. If you go to Canada or go to Mexico, just leave the country or something like that. And then you have your warnings. Range and fuel is probably what everyone, everyone's going to use. So it's going to show you the range on your tank and what you're averaging and all that good stuff. Yep, let's zoom out. Let's go the other way. You also have voice control here. If you tap it, uh, I think if you have Android hooked up, then it's Google Assistant. If you have Apple hooked up, then it's Siri volume you have source so switch from am fm bluetooth all your sources next track previous track right side is going to have your safety features so turn on your cruise control resume set cancel this is just the distance for your adaptive cruise control so let's say you have it on and then from right there we'll zoom back in there again you can have four three two one and that's the interval from the cars in front of you which is pretty cool and then you also oh, i like you going the wrong way hold on all right, I forgot to use the phone, I guess. You have lane keep assist here, so you turn that feature on here, keep you centered in your lane, which is pretty cool. And the layout's pretty nice. The Sport also gives you Sport pedals. So you have the, um, I don't think this is real aluminum, but you do have the Sport pedal, gas and brake. I wish the dead pedal, my, my cinnamon toast crunch socks, but I wish the gas pedal was the same material as these, but it is what it is though. I like, this. I like the, um, the pedals. And then looking at your touchscreen display here, so <laughs> this guy. You have the seven inch display, um, you have volume, you have your uh, tuning knob, and you have a seek button down here as well. Shortcut to your phone, for blue yeah, for your phone Bluetooth. Shortcut to your FM and AM radio. Uh, this is shortcut to Bluetooth and USB, and then your dedicated Apple CarPlay Android auto button down there. But it's touchscreen too, so you can, you can just touch on the screen. So it's pretty cool, easy to use. 
uh, super simple. You have your climate control down here. So Sport will have a single zone climate control. So your temperature is it's single zone. If you want dual zone where a passenger can have a separate temperature, you have to go up to an EX. But single zone here, but at least you can put it to exactly what temperature you want, which is pretty cool. And you have auto, which is standard. And you have front defrost. You have heated or back glass, AC on and off. You use it to change it from face to feet, feet only, however you want it. You know, circulation, turn that off. It'll reuse fresh air from outside. And for your connections, you have a USB-A, no USB-C, and you have a power outlet. That's pretty much it. You use this for your Apple CarPlay and your Auto. Storage down here. Probably going to leave your phone down there. Leather shift knob because you have the leather steering wheel, you have the leather shift knob. If you get the LX, then you get the, the poly material on the steering wheel and the shift knob. Parking, uh, reverse, neutral, and drive. You don't have a sport mode for the transmission because you have the drive mode. But it's going to reverse. I can show you guys the backup camera real fast. So you can see you have a wide angle, you have normal, and you have looking straight down, which is cool. So multi-angle backup cameras with Honda Closet. And then with the drive mode, let's say you go up or down, you're going to zoom back in here. You got sport, you got normal, and you got econ. So in uh, sport, you're probably going to be, um, oh, oh, okay, I got it. <laughs> in sport, you're going to be using more power, less gas saving, the RPM, they'll hold higher RPMs. Your, your gas pedal is going to be more sensitive too. You hear more engine noise. It's more spirited drive. Uh, normal, it's some sport, but still some gas saving. And then Econ is the best way to save the most gas possible. So three different drive modes. You have your auto stop feature button here. So if you don't want it to do the idle stop when you come to a stop, that's how you turn it off. But you have to always turn it back off whenever you turn the vehicle back on. If you turn it off, Turn it back on, then this goes right back to being on. You have an electronic parking brake with brake hold, and brake hold is a good feature. I use it in my RDX all the time. Cup holders here. I love the material right here that they use. I'm glad they didn't use the gloss black there. Um, the gloss black is okay being up here because you don't touch up here too much, but it will show dirt and dust. Not really dirt, but yeah, more dust. You have your armrest here. Same um, cloth material, white stitch, and you have a little coin tray or whatever and then there's no connections in there there's a deep cubby in there and then for your glove box slowly open there go your glove box and then you have the passenger seating here same design as well and as you look up here you have a normal rear view uh, mirror if you want the auto dimming you have to get a I think it's, it comes standard in the touring I keep wanting to say support touring it comes standard in the touring I've uh, been doing too many Civics lately. If you want home link, we're going to check the accessory sheet. I believe you can add home link. Um, I've been careful of what you can add because Honda's been changing things. So you never know what you can't add anymore. But you do have LED lighting all around, which is nice. And then just check out the visor. So the LX, you don't get no light. And the Sport, you don't get a light either, but you still get a mirror. So that's cool. And no sunroof. You have to go up to the EX to get the sunroof. Also, there's no heated seats because you have to go up to an EX to get heated seats. Let's jump into the rear seats and check out the rear. Rear door, open pretty decent. The rear seats do mimic the front seats with the half leather and cloth in the middle. Jump in behind myself, plenty of room back here. You don't have any USB ports back here or any air vents, but the cabin is not really that big, so you're gonna be able to cool off back here. It may take a little bit longer because no vents back here, but your rear passenger should be fine after, after a while. But you have a, oh, look at that, you get tweeters on the door, speakers down there as well, little um, window switch, and then soft part on the armrest. Of course, this is not going to be soft. This is, like, really hard, but still get the same uh, door handle that I like back here. And then flipping back here, you do not get a armrest in the middle. I believe that's an EX and up feature. Take the seat belts off. But there's not really much going on back here. You can take a look at the cockpit again. And I do love the design of the New York Civic. That's why when the 22 first came out, I did pick the one up and it had a touring. Loved it. See back here, the, the armrest, the armrest, the headrest is built into the seat. And I believe the previous, the 10 Gen Civic was the same way as well. Let's go take a look at the trunk. When you push the button, it won't open all the way like the touring. The touring has struts that opens all the way, kind of like all the accords now. But decent sized trunk. And you don't get the split seating in the rear. It's one piece, like the LX. I believe you go up to the EX to get the split seats as well. This one has a cargo tray. 
But if you buy one without the protection package or without a cargo tray, it would just be carpet under here. And you have your spare tire and your tools under there as well. And you get normal floor mats. Let's take a look at the Sonic Gray again before we jump into the trim walk. Remember, this car is dirty. And look how good it still looks. That's what I like about this color. Just like that, we made it back to the trim walk. I think this year, well, 22 and 23 Civics is just the easiest trim levels ever. There's four of them. So you have the LX and then you got the Sport. So the Sport is gonna have everything the LX has and this is what it adds. So if you just wanna know the difference, I know most people can look at the LX and Sport and know the difference, but here's what you're really paying for. So you do have the three mode drive system, Econ, Normal, Sport. Um, the paddle shifters on the CVT, but I don't, I don't think that's a big deal. Um, this is a big deal though, remote engine start. Now that m could be a deal breaker for some of you guys. So you may not get the LX because of that. The 18 inch gloss black alloy wheels, maybe not a big deal for you, but the 235, uh, 4018, so you get wider tires. Cause I think the LX, yeah, look, the LX is 215. So you get wider tires. Smart entry with walkway auto lock is another feature that's I, it could be a, a deal breaker between LX and Sport. You have the gloss black power side mirrors, a more aesthetic thing, chrome exhaust finisher, another aesthetic thing. Um, the leather wrap steering wheel and shift knob, so the steering wheel does feel better in your hand than the poly steering wheel in the LX, in my opinion. And you also have the combination seat, so half leather, has half cloth, Sport pedals, and you do get a 180 watt audio sound system with eight speakers because on the LX, let's see what this system is. It's a four speaker, 160 audio watt system. So better speakers on the Sport, but realistically though, you are either getting the Sport for the looks, or I'll say you want the remote start, the smart entry, or the leather steering wheel. I think it's the, the big things in my opinion. And of course, if you jump one more to the EX, which is above the Sport, you really want the turbo motor, the heated seats, the moon roof. It, it's kind of the more popular package, I'll say, in my opinion. So, because the sport is so simple, let's jump in into building one. And when I say building one, I don't mean you're just gonna go online and build one and go pick up the car. Um, it's not that easy, but yeah. So here's your four levels you have here. So I'm gonna jump into the sport. Now, with the sport, you cannot get a manual transmission. It's CVT only. If you want a manual transmission in a normal Civic that's not a Type R and that's not an SI, you have to get a hatchback, either a Sport or a Sportori. So we're gonna jump into the design here. Bruh, AirPods always trying to connect. Um, you have Asian Blue, you have Crystal Black Pearl, you have Lunar Silver Metallic. <laughs> you have Lunar Silver Metallic. I don't know what type of English that was just now. You have the Mirai Gray, metallic you have rally red and then platinum white pearl which is this guy and sonic gray pearl are the only two colors you pay a premium for so it'll be 455 more to the price because of this is what we're reviewing well not reviewing but walked around i'm gonna go on this guy and show you guys what the current msrp is so base price is 25350 plus the premium color Plus your destination and handling, you're looking around 26.9. So the price has been jumped up for a sport than when they first came out for 22. Not by much, but it is a little bit more. You do get a two-year complimentary maintenance plan from Honda. So free oil take or um free oil changes, tire rotation, multi-point inspection, which is cool. And uh, that's for two years or 24,000 miles. Now I did want to so Oh yeah, so in the video I also mentioned that Sonic Gray comes in black. If you get a Sport, the only interior color you have is black. So, just so that you guys know that. And you have the these other 18 inch alloy wheels. But before we get into packaging, I did want to check out to see if you can add auto dimming rear view mirror, because I did mention that. And what do you know? You can't. So, yeah, because interior, you can't even add the auto dimming rear view mirror which is interesting. It's just interesting times we live in. Um, and who knows, maybe you can, but 
from looking on Honda's website, it's not on there. So just give you a heads up there. And then for packages, you do have your all season package, your protective package and your HPD, which the HPD looks very good on the sport. Let's see, I throw this on here or not. Yeah, I just did an HPD SI. So if, you, if you're ever, uh, I guess curious to see what the HPD will look like, I'll put a link above to the SI that I did with the HPD package right on it. So that's the Civic Sport. Um, in my opinion, this is the most popular trim level. Um, it is, e even though it's not the most affordable like the LX, it is more easy to get your hands on. I don't think dealerships, well, speaking from my area, but I don't think dealerships is gonna have a lot of LXs. Um, I think we haven't had a lot of EXs. Our sport is the most, uh, I would say, quantities we got in, in the package out of everything else. We'll get some tourings, but the sport is kind of what Honda has been focusing on. And I think it is easy to build a sport because you don't have to worry about the blind spot uh, chip. You don't have to worry about the turbo engine, you know? So it's a, it's a very simple car that just throw a little, throw a little flair on the reliable and, you know, the pretty much easy to drive uh, LX and give it a little bit more sport. <laughs> pretty much is what it is. Anyways, I'm in everything here. I appreciate you guys for watching. Thank you guys for watching. And I'm going to catch you guys in the next walk around.